Matt's be here. Apologize for the odd camera angle, but uh, I had a little excision over the right eye, and so it's ugly. Shows a bandage. So we're going to go through tonight installing the new firmware version 2.9 on the Helix from my Mac, and we're going to go through all the steps from connecting it using an ancient USB connector to the Helix and then getting the new update installed. If you haven't seen it, update 2.9 was just uploaded today. Go to the line6.com Helix support page to check out all of the updates that were installed. There's some new amp models, some new cab models, uh, some new way to view um, compressors, which Jason Sadites, Sadites, Sadites has uh, gone through a video on. Sorry, Jason, for butchering your name, but uh, I love your channel. Uh, check it out. And with no further ado, let's get after it. In order to update our Helix uh, to new version 2.9, we need to use the USB cable which is included with your unit, or if you're like me and you've acquired a previously loved version, then you may have to find your own cable. This is an older type USB type B cable. You can see it's almost kind of square, and I'll put up a, a display of uh, a graphic showing the differences between type B and type A, which is what this is. And you'll notice not blue, which would be USB type three, but this connector to connect to my Helix, the connector on the back is the type B connector. And to go into my MacBook Pro, I need to use this adapter, which is a USB type A to USB C connector which has worked fine. So if you've got these, this should work fine. You'll need to connect this into your MacBook and this into your Helix. So I assume you've had the Helix for at least some time and have learned where to plug in your guitar, where to plug in a microphone if you're gonna use that, XLR out if you're using studio monitors or going straight to a studio recording deck or DAW, quarter inch balanced output, headphones, which I've been using. And there's also a Variax input for a, the Variax guitar, which would be very cool. MIDI in and out, digital. And then next to the power cord and the power switch is where we'll plug in the USB-A connector. It can only go in one way, plug it in, and then it'll be going straight to your computer and you'll be able to do the update. I apologize that I don't know how to mirror my screen to the recorder, but I'll figure that out for next time. But the first thing you want to do is navigate to line6.com. Then you're going to go to the support page, click on support, and now at the very bottom of it are downloads. So click on downloads. It will open up this new one, and right here you will see the Helix HX firmware 2.9. So let's read some more information. And this is where I was talking about how big the update was. Uh, and this is a good thing. I recommend reading this. And, and if you're new to the Helix, you'll, you may want to read through uh, all of the updates. Uh, there have been a number of them to give you some idea of how things have changed over time. But you scroll to the bottom of this screen, and then we go to Get Download. So it's downloading. I have to enter my username, which I'm going to do with my fingertip. Then we, you can read the license, accept and decline, and then it will go to our downloads folder. Once it's completely downloaded, we will open it. And it, for a Mac, it opens a disk image like most programs do. And we will double click to install. Continue, continue, continue. Read the license, agree, usual stuff, install. So I need to do that. I love the new touch on the, uh, the new iMac. Okay, so now it's installed. Actually, we can go to Launchpad, Launch HX Edit. And this opens the editor, but whoop. No device is connected, so I need to connect it. So this will go. 
once the helix powered up completely, HX Edit went ahead and, and opened it because it's connected. So this is showing me the chain for the preset that I have, which is an AC30. And from here, we will just follow the instructions given back on the line six page about how to install this. So let's go back and back, back. So installing the, the instructions for installing it are right here. Step one, step two. Once you've downloaded it, this is our two, this is actually, this is 2.82 that's running, which is the same thing that's running on the Helix. Down in the lower left corner is a gear. You click on that gear, it'll ask you to sign in again. And then once you sign in, you'll ask to check for updates and you can click on update now. So now it will create a backup. So you click OK in the lower right hand corner. Create backup. Once it's backed up completely, just click OK to exit out of that. You get another EULA and user license agreement. Click OK. Then still bought in the lower right hand corner. Click update. And it's now registering, rebooting. It's rebooting the line six as well as updating this, but it's updating the firmware and the line six. All right, the Helix has finished updating and you can see now it's on firmware version 2.90.0. It's rebuilding the presets. Once the presets are all rebuilt, it will reload the stomp box settings. Sorry, you couldn't see that. The stomp box settings. And come back to us over here on the laptop with HX Edit ready to go. As you can see, the Helix HX software is telling us that the update is complete. It was successfully completed on the Helix and it went through restoring all of the presets. Although I didn't have that many presets, it still restores them. So. Again, back in the lower right hand corner, back to the MH, I'm sorry, the HX edit screen. And we're right back to where we were, where you can change all of the uh, settings on each of the pre, uh, the pedals, amps, cabs that you have loaded and make changes within here. So it's pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Just follow the directions that were shown to us in the on the website for update in 2.90 and then you will be able to add all these new effects, features, amps, cabs, uh, meters, which that's one of the new big things is a meter in the compression uh, in a compressor section. Uh, check out Jason's video for a great uh, tutorial on how that works and we will catch you next time. Thanks for checking in. Oh, by the way, if you like this, please click, uh, you know, the usual stuff, subscribe smash the like button, uh, ring the bell if you want to hear about more of it. Love to hear what your thoughts are, how you use the Helix. Uh, that would be a great discussion topic and any other things that I can show you on using the, the Helix Stomp. Love the box and I will check you later. Thank you.